friends, thank you for coming back. I did this one the other day. Some water, some sun coming up there with a dock and a bench. Well, today I think we're going to do some water and um, maybe like a nice bench and maybe a tree. So, here we go. I got my canvas. Okay, it's all dampened out here. All right. And I hope everybody's doing well out there. My colors I have. I have a black, dark blue, yellow, light blue, white, purple, and an orange. So let's see. I have a flat brush. Okay, I'm going to mix. I'm going to mix these three for now. Okay, here you go. Start right here on the bottom. It's good to have. A wet brush. You can turn your brush like this. And your canvas. Even though it says it has the gesso on it, I still have to put some uh, water on my canvas. Okay, let's dab again. Dark blue. Light blue and some white. Okay, here we go. I hope everybody's having fun. Every time we do videos together, I really have a great time. And I hope you're able to walk away and really have your canvas looking just the way you want it to because it's yours. Okay, now here, we're going to tap that off. We're going to come in with some weight. Right about here. Okay, I'll do some white and blend that in there. And now we're gonna my orange and some white. Like this one here. I love the orange. I'm seeing a lot of that in the sky. Just so beautiful. Okay, a little bit some more white here, and then we're gonna blend. Okay, we're gonna blend. And remember, when you have more of this higher here, gives you more sky and less ground. Okay, but I think we're gonna need a little bit more ground because we're gonna be working with that bench. So. Let me bring this up a little higher. Oh, beautiful. It's blending really, really nice. Very, very nice. I love it. Yes, that's good. And I have two of these brushes, so this one's already dampened and clean. Okay, but I think what I'm going to do let me use my angular brush and I'm going to come in with a very dark blue. Okay, and I'm just going to run that. There you go. The horizontal line. Always remember, if you want to do a lot of layers, put a pan on it, let it dry, and you'll be good to go. All right, perfect. Okay, perfect. I'm liking the sky. Yeah, I like that. Hmm. I like that. Now, what I think I'm going to do, I'm just going to come in with a little yellow. Okay. My brush is already wet. I'm going to come in with a little yellow. All right. It's blending very nice. Always keep your brush wet. Like I said, there's so many looks of the sky. Same thing with the clouds. Okay, I'm very happy with that. Nice and bright in the background. We'll put the sun in there later. I want that to dry a little bit. Okay. 
Now what we're going to do, I think on this angle, let me see, I'm going to take my round, my round brush, and I'm going to come in with some black. Okay, I'm going to start here. Okay, I'm going to start right there. And you can see that my canvas is wet, but that's okay. That's fine. And we're not going to do a palm tree today. Okay, I'm going to do something a little different. Okay, we're going to be doing a bench. But that will probably probably be in step number two. I'm going with the time frame on my camera. Okay, and this will be beautiful like that one when we're finished. Okay, so I'm very happy with that. Anytime you have your pieces, you can always put a fan on them to let them dry. But that's what's great about acrylic. You can just keep going over and over as you go along. Now, when we go do the leaves, we're going to come in. They're very small. We'll try it with this angular brush. And um, let me see. For right now, let me... Lighten that black up because remember we always like to have more than one shade So we're just going to come in Okay And the tree is going to get a lot of different colors in it Again in life nothing is exactly solid Okay Here we go Okay, friends, tune in on step number two. We're going to do the tree and hopefully get the bench in. Okay, great. Thank you, and I really, really hope everyone is having a great time. Please stay safe, and I'm hoping that you're enjoying all your paintings because I know I am, and I'm hoping that all my tips that I'm showing you and the technique is helping you out. Friends, don't forget to come back to step number two. Bye-bye now.